thirty. They're an hour and a half long each. Mm. And then, uh, let's see. Dora said that KK sent me a hundred dollars, and then a couple minutes later, she said the bitch was sass sent me a hundred dollars, and she the bitch was sass just came in here and said no, she did not. So, I've had people say they were going to send me $200 on a gift card. I've had people say this and that. And no, none of them ever have. None of them has ever have done that. Wow. And, and I'm tired of people just like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm showing like real life. The, yeah. what, what's, what's, what a person puts up with. Yeah. And I'm still showing everybody how strong I am. And how I'm, I'm willing to change and willing to embrace this process of being clean and sober. I mean, they say I'm not in sober living. That's a lie. We've all, I've already proved that a hundred times over. Um, I've proved I have a job. And they just keep going and going. You look so pretty. <laughs> I just woke up. so. And my friend just... Uh, I still need to get with you and talk to you because my friend just... Uh, Brought, brought something that's why I couldn't make it to court this morning but um I have it though now the USB uh, I was like where <laughs> I went and got uh, I didn't but my friend went and got because they have a computer I don't they went and got all the YouTube stuff off and I gave them all the information of whose profile to go and get all that information now I can go to court in the morning Good. That's what I've had to do. I think I have seven of those full, full of things. Yeah, I have to go get. I have to go get a couple more, but because this one's like, it's overheated. <laughs> I understand. But it, it's like they say that I come. I come on here, and there's nothing wrong with me asking. The program even says to reach out for help. And if I want to get to a meeting, I don't have a car. So, and if I don't have the money to get an Uber to a meeting, then, you know what I mean? Because they're not all it's just in, like, one area. They're all over greater Cincinnati. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm playing anybody's mind. It's not like I'm messing with anybody. I'm not lying to anybody. Because, I mean, back in the day, I probably would. But not, I'm not now because I'm trying to live the right way. So you tell me what I'm doing so wrong. You're not. You're succeeding. That's what you're doing. And they don't want to see it. They want to see you quit. And so they're going to keep pushing and pushing until you do quit. But that is not going to happen. You have a job. You're going to meetings. You're in sober living whether they believe it or not. It, it, you are a very caring person and you care what people think. And that's the hardest part because yep. me, I've grown, I was in the military too. So my give a shit button is not there. Like I don't care. Um, but they're, they're going to try and push those buttons. They're going to try and make up all these lies. Um, I got a message um, that I, I need to send you a screenshot of, but um, it was a person telling me, you know what she did two years ago? And I said, I don't care what she did two years ago. I care what she's doing now. Yeah, they tried to say they tried to say last night that I sold my daughter for rugs, and that's not true. I would seriously have a charge for that, and I don't. I never did that, and for my daughter to come in with my brother and my sisters to say this stuff... And then last night, my sister Judy was sitting there saying that uh, there was a bad storm. And this was when I was like 16, 17, uh, 17 years old because I had just had my daughter, okay? they And I was going through some bad mental state, you know, being young, right after having a kid, postpartum, everything. They just started me on medicine, right? And I was, I had just took my medicine and... I I was out, out like a light. All of a sudden, the storm come in, and the, the tornado sirens and everything were going off. My mom comes upstairs and was like, hey, wake up, wake up. We got, we're got we under a tornado warning. We got to go downstairs. 
I was in such a, like a, a, just waking up out of a dead sleep. I grabbed my purse. I grabbed my Mountain Dew. <laughs> and I headed to the basement. My mom says, uh, you're forgetting something? I was like, purse, check. Mountain Dew, check. Meds are in my purse, check. Um, when I'm half asleep, I'm going, no. She goes, what about your daughter? I was like, oh, can you grab her? <laughs> I mean... And it, that was just like a family joke because that was at the same time when my mom had made a joke about, like, Jen, go out and chase your camel. It was like a big old joke about it, right? While there was a, a funnel cloud coming, I'm going, oh, look, my camel, my camel. And everybody was laughing about it. It was just a big old joke about it. It wasn't that serious. Like, I mean, like they made it seem like I was all worried about my, my purse and my meds. I mean, that's really what happened. And for my sister Judy to even say that, she was so little, it was like my family put her up to saying that. So now I got to go put a protection order against her and uh, menacing. I had to call the police down in Jackson County, Kentucky uh, against Dora and then one in Lebanon against my sister Tammy that was in the box. So now I got to go put all these menacing charges on them. And them recording the, the, the live on YouTube really helped out because I have it. Yeah. No, they put their own foot in their own mouth. Um, and there, there was a clip that I was sent. Um, it said something about you and April were talking about somebody and April got banned or something like that. Um, she was watching the YouTube the, the feed and the YouTube, you know, the chat and the YouTube video that they were streaming me from. And every time they said something, it would make her mad and she would reply. And that's how she got. And she, I think she's allowed to come back on today. So. Gotcha. No, I, I mean, and it's, and it's hard when they sit there and they're like saying this bullshit. And oh, it's hard I, not to respond. The, the clip that they said was, you know, it was sent to for me to be like, um, oh, because I don't really talk bad about people. I try not to, unless it's like Dora. <laughs> I'll mm -hmm. talk shit about her all day. I'm just saying. Um, mm -hmm. But um, it was it was sent for malice intent for me to not like you or something. And I was like, well, it's her life. Uh, She's allowed to do whatever she wants. Malicious, in her life. And, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't control and her people. And it's but, like, they say that I come on here every day. Well, last night, just to go to um, the the both meetings and the come back home equaled about $40. Oh, wow. That was Ooh, Uber nice. from here to the meeting, from that meeting to the other meeting, and then from the other meeting back here. That was about $40 last night because Uber goes by the time of day. Yeah. And I had to sit there and wait and keep like going out of the app and into the app because at one time it was like one to charge me twenty three ninety nine just to get to the other meeting. Well, I kept on hitting it and hitting it and 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 stuff like that, and it finally put it down to like um, I think it was twelve something, and I got to go to the other meeting. And Papa, your money did go for the Uber to the meeting because this is why I wanted to go to the meetings last night so bad. That right there, that's why. I don't lie to you guys. I'm, I, you guys know my life. It's like you're here all the time. And I'm showing everybody real life struggles and the real life bullying. So somebody sent a $25 gift card and then Papa sent 25 and then, yeah, that was like $40 right there. They are. They, so they're trying so hard to make her alone. Um, and I know what that feels like. I My situation was a little bit different. Um, my situation didn't have to do anything with meetings or being in sober living. It had to do with them calling DHS on my children um, and doxing my children's full names and pictures and all that. Um, and they tried. Wow. So I have three friends that I met on here. Um, 
and we've we've stuck together through it all they tried they tried to split us up the best they could and then we didn't do it because if they were to send them saying oh charity said this about you we would call each other and be like hey did you say this like when would you right. have said this um, we also never went live without telling each other because we all wanted to be there and we all agreed on what was going to happen and what wouldn't happen. That was like our best defense. Um, and eventually we just held our lives and we ignored them and they moved on to their next victim is what we used to say because <laughs> they would just move on to somebody else to bully. Well, they're 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 loud and proud on on not leaving my situation, and they say every time that I come on and I say something that um it's like I'm dry bagging, and I'm not. Like I'm, I'm gonna throw it out there that that lady that wanted to buy me the mattress topper, she mentioned in my live that she um was about to be homeless and that her nephew helped her or whatnot, and I told her I can't accept that from her, and I won't. And I told her on live yesterday, and I did turn her down. And then, um, like, you know, I've got what till the fifth to pay my storage bill. So, and and I'm already going to call her today to see if they can hold on till the eighth. Um, I'm not saying that so somebody helps me. I'm just saying that that's my real life struggles here. And then I still got to get to work and um, get home. Like, I don't know where, why they would even lie and say that KK, and then they flipped it and said the bitch was sass, sent me $100 when that's not true. Yeah. That is so not true. I have my receipts on my Uber account, you know, on my app that shows how much everything costed. And I'm not afraid to show it. Everybody knows I'm not afraid to show anything, obviously. Yeah. No, they, um... So they try to discredit my military service. So I'm 50% disabled through the military, through the VA. Um, and I'm so sorry, Chihuahua Mama, that you, you got that. See, she got seven messages not to help me because yeah, she was going to help me lot. by getting to a meeting. And she said that the Uber app, I guess the least you can give a gift card on the Uber app is $25. Well, 